All right, people. I wanted to do a quick update video for you. It's Thursday, January the 2nd, and I'm getting ready to take off to Indiana. Um, and I wanted to shoot this video for you about the aquaponics grow tower just to give you an update on what's going on. Um, I'm not going to have a, a chance to work with this until after I get back from Indiana. And so I wanted to do an update video for you and then let you know that I'm probably going to kick right back onto this project when I get back from Indiana, uh, probably starting around February because I'm going to have to wait for the funds to continue. Um, and really all the funds, all I need is I need to buy a new pump um, and I need to buy uh, something to cover the bottles with and I already have that planned and also the media, the uh, grow media that I'm going to put in the bottles. and. I'm, you know, unless you have another suggestion for me, I'm probably going to go with the ceramic uh, little pellets, those little uh, ceramic uh, terracotta looking pellets. So, um, but yeah, you know, get back with me and, and give me some advice. But let's take a look at what I have so far. I bought this pump and I wanted to try it just because I, I simply just wanted to give it a shot. But it is the the cheapest pump that I could find on, on uh, Amazon. And it has a head height of three feet <laughs> at 20 gallons per hour. And, you know, I didn't think it was going to work, but I wanted to go ahead and try it. And since it doesn't work for this, then that's perfectly fine. Uh, I'm just going to get a bigger pump, and I'll use that pump for something else and do more of a horizontal type of a garden. Uh, I have an idea for that as well using an old pallet. So um, here's what I have. This is the tank and open it up here and I'll show you. If you've been following this project on Google Plus, you know, you'll know, uh, been a, you've already seen this, but um, I just have this coming in the side here and the two drains coming in over here and it's set up so that it's all nice and neat and tidy. Um, from the drains, for the drains we have this one uh, short piece of bottle that is holding the one above it and uh, draining right into the PVC um, and then and down. I use the cheap uh, plumber strap for uh, holding all of my my pipe in place and this is that black um, oh what do you call this I think this is the uh, sprinkler system pipe and I just use this again it, this stuff is all very cheap and I put these two valves in here so that I can control and regulate the flow depending on what I decide to grow. So that's all there is to it. Uh, it'd be very simple to add a third one on here. If I wanted to add a third row of uh, two liter bottles, then this would be a, a, a darn good work, you know, workhorse for growing food. I really do think that this is going to work out nice when I get done with it. So I hope this has been helpful and informative. I hope that um, it'll be a good update for you and it'll keep you pacified until I get back in February and have a chance to work on this a little bit more. Um, please comment and if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, please. It really does help the ratings on YouTube and share the video. But if you have advice for me, that's really what I want to hear. So what should I use for my growing medium and do you have advice on what style of pump to use? Um, and is my, uh, my container water reservoir large enough? So if it's not large enough, then, then I'll just grow less food with it. But uh, either way, we'll try to run this as a hydroponics operation at first, and we'll give it a shot. So uh, more next time. God bless you all. Thank you for watching.